whole time. And we'll take a look at what we've got then. We'll call this the blocking shot. How's that? Sounds good. Okay. So how many bundles did you end up with this time? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. And that first one's a little larger, but not significantly, or is it a smaller one? It's a little larger, but not a whole bunch. Half hitch, pull it up tight, double the half hitch, tighten it again. Lay the tail up into the broom and come over the top of the tail. I'm doing a running dialogue anyways. Yeah, I can do it anyway. Over the top of the tail twice without any tension on it and then cinch it up. Doing that prevents the tail from flipping about and causing the knot to turn. Snip that tail off just as close as you can without snipping the knot or the twine. And then around another time. At this point, she has a total of four turns on there. And I'm going to fold the broom corn and take that knot straight up. The knot is on the inside of the broom. So you try to squeeze it as close as you can to the top there. I have been, I have been, and uh, I noticed that the, the old antique room didn't do that. And I don't know why he didn't. And maybe that's uh, something to do with the wire versus this twine that I'm using. See, now here's where. I make a fumble and get it caught on tape. Mm. I can't get that other side bent over as even as I would like. Three turns, we're gonna go four turns around there just like we did in that first turn. And so come around the fourth time over the top. I'm going to separate the pieces of the broom again. I'm gonna take about 16 pieces out of there. Starting right away. Eight of them to one side, and another eight pieces up under that twine and to the other side.
Now, with these pieces laid in there the way they are, I want to reach back down in there and take out another 16 pieces or so. Eight to one side, eight to the other. The broom corn obviously should have soaked a little bit longer. And with those held back in place, bundles will get a little easier because we're no longer dealing with as extreme a curve as we were with that first bundle. keeping our wraps fairly even there. So I'm going to reach down here and now it's just a matter of repeat, repeat, repeat. So we're going to take six or eight to one side, six or eight. I might even have nine or ten there to the other.
So that's not going to add significant much more time than a turkey wing, is it? I like the technique of sucking on it too, though. You know. Make sure you get that. Let's <laughs> not edit that out. No. Don't do this at home, you know. <laughs> Professional <laughs> clothes shop only. Okay. That was my last bundle. Now I'm going to turn that around so that my B or the spiral closes up now. Go around there. That's the fourth turn now. Alright, so here at the back, lift the section, move, lift the section, move, lift the section. I think I'm gonna be a little tripod. It'll sit right here at the corner of your, and I'll just have it all. I got, I got a, a gorilla pod. What is an gorilla pod? Oh, a gorilla pod is the slickest little tripod you ever ever owned. It's uh, got gooseneck type jointed legs, mm -hmm. so that you can mount that anywhere. Mm -hmm. It'll, you can like wrap the, uh, the pieces around, so you mm -hmm. can like mount it on a tree branch and wrap the. Oh. Legs of the tripod around. Where did you acquire such an item? Is it in the <laughs> Okay. You can find them online as well. But since I'm using the old iPhone, mm -hmm. that, that, that's how you get away with using technology in the folk centers. You call it ye old. See, mm -hmm. so since I'm using ye old iPhone, uh, and I don't have a tripod adapter for it yet, I'll, I'll, let, you, mm -hmm. I'll let you use that. Other. He, he did that so he didn't have to plot it. I mean, his is finished when it gets to that. Yeah, but we can plot it anyways. Yeah. And I will. Mm -hmm. I mean, I did on the last one I did, yeah. even though I did it this way. It seemed to me that if you were uh, at an event trying to keep up, you would have a second option, time that way, and then when you get time, you go ahead and plot at your yes heart's and, content. Yes and no, yes and no. Quite honestly, at an event, again, remember it's, it's not the room that sells, it's the story that sells. It's the story. Well, that, that, this applies to the plotting as well. Uh, Sometimes people will like buy a broom simply because they like the way the plating on the handle looks. Mm -hmm. And to that end, you know, I do multiple kinds of plating. So who was it was saying if he does the plain broom and then if he plots it, it's six dollars more? I guess that was Bob. I don't. I don't know. Who do we have? Who do we have lunch with there? Oh, that was Frank. 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 Yeah. Um, uh, we'll talk about pricing. Mm -hmm. I got your formula. I thought that was pretty good.
Oh, so you're going to go right into the plaiting now. Yeah. Um, ah. I just didn't cut enough pieces. So we're going to have to fold and trim. Don't film that part. Hold it out. Because it'll pick up, uh, pick up most of it, I think. Yep. How did I manage that? Odd number? That never happened.